good evening. Oh my gosh, I'm a morning girl. So good evening, friends. My name is Abby Clark of The Morning Set and Influence, and you're tuned to KUVO. We're live from the Bonfils Satin Performance Studio here at 21st and Arapahoe in Denver. Live performances are made possible by members just like you. Become a member today at KUVO.org. All right, we got a great band in the studio today. Many colors, a soul hop stew, a fresh jazz steeped in lo-fi soundscape, and a group Moving rhythm section. This is a four-piece band featuring Brant Williams working the guitar and samples, Braxton Kahn keeping times at drums, Eric Luba on the keys, and Kerwin Brown holding it down at the bass. Thanks so much for joining us in the studios this evening. Yeah, thanks for having us. Of course. So today you're going to do a couple of things. You have a great project where you're paying homage to the great Jay Dilla, which we'll get into in just a second, but you'll also be gracing our ears with some of your own compositions. That's right. All yep. right. Well, what do you got to start out here with? Um, this first one is a mashup of a bunch of Jay Dilla beats um, from uh, across his career. So uh, first one's intro from Slum Village, which is his first record. And then we go into E equals MC squared, which is off his last record. Um, and kind of everywhere in between. So, uh, yeah, this is how it goes. All right. You're listening to KUVO Jazz, and this is Many Colors.
So that was like one, two, three, four, four songs <laughs> into one. <clears throat> a lot of his pieces are just beats, and they're you know anywhere from a minute to a minute and a half. And so some of those, it's nice just to throw them in there, you know. Yeah, it was a beautiful medley. Got a little taste of everything. I was getting a stank face on a couple of those. There you go. Really groovy. You guys are big fans of Jay Dilla, who has left his mark on the hip hop community and the music community in general. What was it that made you decide you wanted to dive into his catalog and put it through the many colors lens? Um, it's an easy way to get gigs. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of a way, <clears throat> the music's great, and harmonically, uh, he's kind of known for his rhythmic stuff. Yeah. But harmonically, I think it's just as deep, and it was kind of fun to explore that. Um, but it's kind of a way to do a cover show, which you can get <laughs> more money for, um, but also uh, put your own spin on it so yeah. that was kind of the idea which you definitely did i know we met a while back uh you were doing the king of beats tribute show which you've done a couple of times um which is the tribute to jay dilla and i'm just i need to take a moment and look at these drums because these symbols are very interesting i see a wallet taped this really keeps the time can you talk about the jay dilla beat and yeah. how you do it yeah so i mean you know, I, I come from a jazz background. I mean, I remember playing in, like, college bands here on Kuvo and stuff. And, and yeah. j my lens through which I observe all this stuff is kind of jazz-based. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I, I try to still cre have a live sound, but something that really informs what I do when I'm playing this stuff is the sound of the program drums that Jay Dilla uh would use on the on his MPC or sampled snares from old soul records or full grooves or full mm. full things like guitar he'd have like guitar bass drums all of it sampled and then put his own thing or whatever any number of ways of putting that together so for me I'm trying to imitate some of these things so I have this thing called a clap stack from Rever uh, I think it's Reverie Symbols. Um, which is a North Carolina-based company. I'm not endorsed by them. I'm just shouting them out because <laughs> yeah. they make awesome stuff. Um, but this is called a clap stack, so it kind of imitates the clap sound that you hear on a lot of Jay Dillow would sample claps a lot. Yeah, so it's, it's like three cymbals. Yeah, it's three cymbals kind of literally screwed together, and they're, it's pretty dilapidated. It looks like something you'd find in a, in a junkyard. Well loved. Yeah, well loved, yeah. <laughs> and, th and then, like, yeah, the wallet on the snare. Just, kinda like, de it. deaden everything, put a dead in the toms just kind of try to get that sound that kind of it sounds like hip-hop instead of like yeah. too much like live drums you know yeah and then you're really pulling it out with those keys too and the samples <laughs> we're getting everybody involved here in the conversation yeah uh brent usually runs the samples when when we when we run them but in terms of like keyboards you know it's mostly just like fender roads and then maybe like a synth but then, like, the rest of it is just, like, samples, which I'm kind of just imitating with, like, Mellotron patches. 
which is like a old keyboard that runs tape. So it just sounds old. So it sounds like a sample, you know? Yeah. But for the most part, Brandon is running the samples and I'm just making noise. <laughs> Right on. Yeah. Well, so you have a little bit more Jay Dilla to play, and then yeah. we're going to play some from your newest album that yeah. came out this year. You got it. All right, so what's next? This one is, you can fill in the blank, but for the sake of radio, it's called F the Police. Hmm. Uh, the The story is he, Jay Dilla kind of blew up, um, and he needed a new car. Or his first, he needed a, he's, he stopped borrowing his mom's car or something. And... Uh, his first purchase was made in straight cash. <clears throat> and so it was a super nice car, and he had his own house. And the uh, police started messing with him and coming by. And so uh, he wrote this. And we don't do the, uh, we don't rap anything, but it's all there. Uh, so this is just the instrumental, obviously. But um, fill in the blanks called F the Police. All right. Many colors here doing a tribute to Jay Dilla on KUVO.
Hey, <laughs> I love that. This is many colors here on KUVO. We have Brant Williams at the guitar, Braxton Kahn at the drums, Eric Luba on the keys, Kerwin Brown holding it down on the bass. And that was a tribute to Jay Dilla, which you guys have uh, been doing for a while with this The King of Beats tribute show. And you've actually worked with the family a lot too, right? Yeah, this is our fifth year. Yeah. This is our fifth year. Um, last year, we got Ma Dukes, uh, Maureen Yancey, J. Dill's mom. Uh, she was kind enough to come down, and she, mm. we flew her in, and uh, she attended both shows, which was really cool. I got to pick her up from the airport. Oh, it was like man. the coolest day of my life. Yeah, it, it was great. It must be amazing <laughs> as a mother to still he see her son's legacy alive in the music yeah. and community. Yeah, she definitely loves it. Um, one of my favorite stories she said... Um, he was very particular, a very particular man. And she would, uh, <clears throat> when he was growing up, she'd make his food. And his, his the uh, items on the plate couldn't touch each other, so the food couldn't <laughs> touch each other. And she said, God help me if there's gravy. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Um, but, yeah, she was great. Um, a portion of every show goes to the um, J. Dilla Foundation. So working with her has it's been really cool. That's amazing. And you guys are a pretty tight band. Can you tell me a little bit about how you guys started playing together? How long you've been a band? Um, I don't know. Long time. Seven years? That's crazy. The uh, song we're playing later is the first one we ever tracked, but I kind of just had some tunes and was making bands up on pickup gigs for a while, and one day I hired all these guys and... I was like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so uh, we had a session, and then we got into um, Color Red, and, you know, so that's yeah. what happened. Really cool label. Yeah. So you're going to play some of your original stuff, too. Sure. Um, should we do another Dilla, or should we go straight into the original? What do you yeah, think? maybe we go straight into the original. Great. I love the new album. It was released back in April, so I'd love to learn a little bit more about it, but let's give everybody a taste. Sure. Uh, this is our first single off. It's called Bangs. Um and it starts with these two guys. <laughs> All right, you're here with Many Colors on KUVO Jazz. My name's Abby Clark. Enjoy the music.
Many colors in the studio here at KUVO. I loved that one. It almost it like built itself up. Yeah. That's the uh, first one we ever recorded, actually. It's called Soft Trees. And it's not, uh, it's on our band camp. Yeah. It's a super old recording. Uh, that was the first one you guys played together? Yeah. Um, in the studio. In the studio? Yes. Man, I loved that. I loved that so much. And the first one that we heard before that was the single for your latest album. Yep, that was our uh, first single. We moved pretty slow, so that was like four years ago. But <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> but that was Bangs, um, and the last one was Soft Trees. Bangs opens up the album. Yes. So tell me about this record, how it came together. Um, I grew up in Iowa with um, going to shows, uh, this old band called the Orchestra, and he's the guitar player. Um, yeah, Mike Tallman, he ended up uh, kind of running the studio for a minute and he asked us to come in and uh, he's an excellent graphic designer he designed the record cover um, mm. but yeah, uh, so he got us in and uh, my whole goal going in the first day was to be invited back so <laughs> <laughs> it worked um, and then four years later we, we had the record so that's basically what happened Man, what's the reception been like? It's It's been out since April, so it's been on out and about for a minute. Mm -hmm. Have you guys been playing out and, and playing the music? or? Yeah, um, we uh, we somehow got a residency during COVID, and so uh, every Tuesday we'd play and just kind of develop these tunes and, um, you know, the way of listening. Not a lot of cues. Um, well... We had our masks on, oh, so you really? couldn't see anything, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so we kind of just developed the music um, that way, super chill, super relaxed environment, um, and yeah. What's the uh, writing process like for you guys? Do you just, like, put yourself in a room and just get in the groove? Because y'all are very connected. Yeah, um, a, a bunch of them I wrote and then just brought them, st uh, you know, sheets, lead sheets. But I don't, I don't tell anybody what to play, really. Um, so, like, that intro, Luba wrote. 
Um, they all write their own parts. I just kind of point the direction, really. And then a number of them we developed on those Tuesdays, and I'd re- I used to record every show. So a few of them off the record were um, just ones that we made up on the spot. And then um, Luba also has a few tunes on there. Nice. On the record, yeah. You all have a very distinct sound coming together. It's it's really nice. This is Many Colors with Brant Williams at the guitar, Braxton Kahn keeping it at the drums, Eric Luba on the keys, and Kerwin Brown holding it down that bass. You're giving me that stank face. Love it. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I know we might have another Jay Dilla one on tap, but what do you guys feel like playing next? I don't know. Should we do a record or should we do some JD? I think you... What would you suggest? <laughs> what would I suggest? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I want to hear another original. Okay. Right on. All right. This is on side A of the record. It's called The Wisp.
<laughs> the sounds of many colors here in the KUVO studios. My name is Abby Clark, and I'm hanging out with the band. Tell me about that one. That was a uh, Jay Dilla tune called Lightworks. It was off uh, Donuts. Oh, it was a famous man. record. Yeah. yeah, you do a tribute to Jay Dilla. You've been doing it now for five years, you said? Yep. Yeah, I really love the way you interpret his music. Thank you. Yeah. So um, Jay Dilla is uh, being represented by many colors along with your own music. We've got Brant Williams working that guitar and the samples, Braxton Khan keeping the drums. I mean, I saw keys out at one point. You are resourceful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. And we got Eric Luba on the keys and Kerwin Brown holding it down at the bass. Many colors. You've been together now for seven years, and you play out and about. Tell me about what you got coming up on the roster. Yeah. Uh, well, today we're at Kubo. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, the 6th of next month, we're at the Cherry Creek Arts Festival. It's like an early slot, 1045 to 1215. Um, August, we have some... Festivals, uh, our buddies Magic Beans throw a festival called Beanstalk. So we'll be there August 10th. Um, and then the next weekend, we're at Elevation Music Festival, thrown by Eminence Ensemble. Um, and then we got some gigs with an up and coming dude, uh, Neil Francis. Hey. So we're playing uh, Boulder September 11th and the Aggie um, September 12th. Nice. And this is all on your website or your socials. What's the yep. best way? Uh, Instagram, probably is Instagram? the Instagram? Yes. Stay That's connected. It. What's your handle? Uh, Many Colors Music. Many Colors Music. Yes. That's the best way to stay connected with the band. You play locally, and uh, you're, um, the crowd must be so engaged. I know I was listening because you're in it, and then all of a sudden you guys wind it up. I felt like I was going like, to blast off with those synths. Like, <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> well, um, thank you so much for coming to the Kuvo Studios. It's been such a treat. I want to take it out with a few more. But this is Many Colors, and welcome again anytime. Thank you so much for dropping by. Thank you. Thanks for having us. All right. What are we gonna What are we gonna end with? Uh, this one doesn't have a name, so we call it DGA, which is the chords that we play on it. All right. <laughs> and we might have time for one more, but we'll see where we are. Sure. Right on. All right.
this is Kubo Jazz. One more special thanks to the band Many Colors live here in the KUVO studios, bringing a soul hop stew of fresh jazz steeped in a lo-fi soundscape. And of course, that grooving rhythm section. We've got Brant Williams working that guitar and samples, Braxton Kahn at the drums. Eric Luba at the keys and Kerwin Brown holding it down at the bass. Thank you so much for joining us in the studios today. Today's broadcast was engineered by Klaus Larson and video production by Alec Kenefick and Christy Mikulski. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you bringing your wonderful music to the Kuvo community. Yeah, thanks for having us. Of course. All right. Time for one more short one and we're out. You got it. And I'm Abby Clark. Thanks for having me.